Well, you think you've seen it all until you've seen this. So I'm here to talk to Spencer Ashley, Director of Innovation at Plus Zero. Tell us what we're looking at. This is the winner of this year's Gussie's Award, the International Design Award for Electric Boats. And we are taking this boat to Monaco to race on behalf of Team Scotland to represent the energy transition happening in Scotland with hydrogen to demonstrate what we've done at the Port of Leith with CMDC4. Okay. So we've been producing hydrogen for the first time in the Port of Leith. So Port of Leith in Edinburgh, in that Edinburgh, is, yeah. In the capital of Scotland, for the first time we're bringing green hydrogen producing the port and we're going to Monaco to race on that green hydrogen to demonstrate what's been happening with the tugboats down in the Port of Leith and we've just had so much support from everybody. Great partners of each piece of technology to represent what Scotland's about, collaboration, energy transition and bringing new skills and also engaging the youth, making this exciting so that people want to get involved yeah. early on so that they can be part of the next generation yeah. of the energy revolution well, here in Scotland. Well, it certainly is exciting. And if you want to come down here and have a wee look at this contraption here. Now, Spencer, tell us about this. What are we looking at here? This is a regular 250cc overhead valve Honda GX style combustion engine. We've done a few conversions to this and played with the ECU to make it run on hydrogen gas. What's special about this unit, it weighs about 15 kilograms. It gives out 6 kilowatts of DC power, 48 volts, which is perfect for powering this and most items on boats, motor caravans, welfare cabins, so a lot of industrial use around the port we can find for this. What's wonderful about this, it's got a very low price point, it's superbly light and it represents the large genset we use at the port to power the tugboats. The only emission from the exhaust is steam. Wow, and so, so that's the use of it, but you talked about the green hydrogen production. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, we electrolyse uh, water down at the Port of Leith. The water comes from the waste treatment plant at Seafield. It goes through a very clever process with a company called Waterwhelm, where they use four osmosis and only heat to purify the water. So that the water we use to electrolyse to make the hydrogen is water that would have been tipped in the sea. So we're not stealing water from the public in Edinburgh. We're electrolyzing wastewater down at the port and it becomes totally cyclical. They call it flush to fuel, so we take the, sea, the, the sewage water and turn it into fuel, which we then burn in the engines. Steam is the only byproduct of that. We capture the steam in most cases to heat things, so it's a very cyclical inclusive system that goes on and then we use that to reduce the need for diesel gensets all around the port. Or the I mean, it's absolutely fascinating. And can you just finally give our viewers a bit of context, like put this in context, how innovative is this in the big scheme of things? There's currently between 10 and 18 billion of these engines in circulation around the world. In California alone, these small engines contribute 20% of total air pollution. So simply putting a conversion pack on for a few hundred pounds to convert this to run on clean hydrogen is a game changer. Now what we've also done this engine, which no one else has done before, is we've designed this engine to be multi-gas. So if you don't have hydrogen, you'll run out. This engine will run on propane, calagas, or biomethane, which is the ideal and still give the same power output without any loss of performance. So it's not reliant on one energy source. It can be adapted to any situation. I mean, again, you've, you've heard it here first. This is prime example well, here of we go. innovation that we are seeing. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I mean, enough said. <laughs>